Okay, now let's move on to our scene. So a view is going to both manage the window and have a scene. So I'm going to create a local variable called mScene. And I'm using a lowercase m in front of the variable name to show that this is a member variable. It's basically private. Um, only methods defined inside of this class are going to be able to access the value of the scene. And so I want to make that obvious to anybody who's looking at this code. So by convention, I'm putting in a lowercase m here. And then this is going to be equal to a new scene object, which I haven't defined yet. So basically, I'm going to have a scene class. And when you say new scene, you get a new scene object. That gets stored into the mscene variable of this view. And then in this redraw, I'm going to tell the scene to draw itself. So instead of filling the canvas with uh, aqua, I'm going to tell the scene to draw itself. And I'm going to pass in the canvas that I wanted to draw on. And I'm also going to pass in the width and height of the area that I wanted to draw into. So now I have to implement my scene class. And once again, this is going to be a class, so I'm going to name it with an uppercase S. And then I want to have a few methods on here. So I want to have a method for drawing. And this is going to take a context and a width and a height. And it's going to do something. I have to come back to that. And I also want to have a way of adding shapes to my scene. I'll come back to that as well. And now I have to start implementing these methods. So um, what I'm going to do is have a collection of shapes. And I'm just going to use a simple array here. So I'm going to create a local variable called mShapes, which is going to be initialized to an empty array. And then every time I add a shape to my scene, I'm going to call mShapes.push shape. So let's go ahead and save this as scene.js. And we'll go ahead and load it. Okay. So now I have a way of adding shapes to my scene. Now for drawing, all it's going to do is it's going to go through m shapes one shape at a time and tell each shape to draw itself. So So that should be it. Um, I think all I need now is uh, a shape to test this out. So for now, let me go ahead and create a, um, a simple shape class. And I'm going to keep this as simple as possible just for testing purposes. So all it's going to have is this dot draw, which is going to take a context and a width and a height. And uh, let's just have this draw uh, just a rectangle. So
And let's go from like one quarter of the width and one quarter of the height. And then the width of the rect is going to be half of the, of the available area. And the height will be half of the available area as well. So right now the corners of the shape are hard coded. And it will just fill the center part of the screen with a, with a rectangle, basically. So in my view, let's go ahead and add a shape to our scene. And that should cause a shape to be drawn. So let's go ahead and load shape as well here. And go ahead and reload. Okay, so we're having a little problem. Let's see what we have. So it looks like context is probably undefined. So let's go ahead and put a breakpoint there and hit reload. Nope, oh, uh, context is a canvas, context. Oh, this is actually should be a context, not a canvas. So um, I think I had messed up. Let's go ahead and look at the code again. So shape is being called by scene. Scene is passing in a context. Ah, view should be passing in the context, not the canvas. So view should be passing in the context here. And let's stop and reload. And we'll take this breakpoint off. There. So there's our red shape being drawn. And since the shape is just being drawn using fixed coordinates and fixed color, um, any other shapes I add would just be drawn right on top of it. So let's work on that next. Um, I'm going to have some properties on the shape. And uh, I'm going to pass those in as a parameter. So my constructor for shape is now going to take um, a properties object. And it's going to have a local variable called m properties. And then the fill style is going to be m properties.color. And then what I'm going to do for width and height is like so. So var x is equal to properties.x minus properties.width over 2. So basically, the center point of the shape is going to be the x-coordinate minus half the width. And then y is going to be m properties dot y minus m properties dot height over 2. So once again, the x and y location of the shape is going to be the center point in x and y. Um, but then I need a coordinate system here. So instead of just drawing the items at a fixed location, I want the location to change depending on how big the screen is. So I need to basically scale the object coordinates based on this width and height. So I'm going to declare a local function for doing that.
Now, since this is being stored in the local variable, this is uh, a function that can only be called inside of my methods of the object. So, go ahead and scale that by width and scale this by height. And then I'm also going to add width and height. And then I'm going to use those as my parameters to fill. So let's go ahead and create a couple of different objects in the view. So the first one, I'm going to have a new shape, and we'll make the color, so we'll pass in a properties object. So I'm just going to create an immediate object here, and I'm going to set the color to be green, and I'm going to Set the X location. So basically, what's going to happen here is this point is 0, 0, and this point is 1, 1, and that point is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 Y, and 1 X, and 0.5 X, and 1 Y, and so on. So let's put one in the upper left hand corner, so x is point 0.1 and y is 0 0.1 and we'll do the width is let's say a quarter of the screen and the height is a quarter of the screen as well so there's my first shape and then let's add a second shape We'll make this one blue, and we'll put it in the bottom right corner. So point 0.9, make it point 0.8, let's make this point 0.2. Because that's the center point of the object, make that point 0.8. All right, so now I should have a green square and a blue square. And let's go ahead and look at the errors. Cannot read property X, so un un undefined. Oh, I forgot to set in properties here. So let's fix that. And let's reload. Okay, so I didn't get any errors, but I'm not getting anything drawn either. So let's see if my draw function is getting called, my draw method. It is. So let's see whether my x, y width and height look reasonable. So x, not a number. Okay, so m properties dot x. It's point 0.2, and properties.width is undefined. So let me see why my m properties.width is undefined. Oh, because that should be width and height. Okay. So let's stop it and get rid of the breakpoint and reload. Good. So now I have my two shapes. And I'm ready to move on to the next type of shape.